students welcome back to my youtube channel unlock your learning today we are going to find out the missing numerator or denominators of our equivalent fractions so friends without wasting any time let's begin let's see the first question here so it says that find the missing numerator or denominator of each equivalent fraction okay so let's see 3 upon 4 is equal to 6 and a box is there and 6 and a box is equal to box and 12 then is equal to 12 upon a box then again a box and 20 then 18 and a box and then box and 28 so friends here these fractions which are given to us are all the equivalent fractions of 3 upon 4 but they are not with denominator or numerator both in some fraction numerator is missing and in some other fractions denominator is missing so this box you can see over here in all the fractions a box is there in that we have to fill a number that should be equivalent to our fraction 3 upon 4 so let's see let's start so let's start from the beginning from here so we have 6 and upon and another box a box okay now we don't have the denominator here we have the numerator so we have to look that what is the relation between our 3 and 6 because 3 is also a numerator of our fraction and 6 is the numerator of the equivalent fractions equivalent fraction so let's see so 3 into 2 is 6 okay 3 to the 6 so same as I told you to find the equivalent fractions we will multiply our both numerator and denominator by the same number. So here we have multiplied the numerator by 2. So we will multiply our denominator also by 2. So 2 times 4 is 8. So that means in the box will come 8. Alright. Now let's move on. So now we have 6 upon 8 is equal to another box and upon 12. So here. We have our box in the numerator column and we have our denominator that is 12. So we are going to see the relation between our first fraction which was given to us that's denominator and our equivalent fractions denominator. So 4 is here and 12 is here. So think yes 4 into 3 is 12 that means 3 times 4 is 12. Same we are go going to do with 3 also. That means we are going to multiply 3 by 3. So 3 into 3 is 9. So that means 9 will come in the box. Now let's move on. So we have 12 and a box is here. So let's look. We have the numerator not the denominator. So our numerator here is 3 and here is 12. So let's look what relationship can be found here. Yes, 3 into 4 is 12. So, same we are going to do with 4 even. So, we are going to multiply 4 by 4. So, 4 into 4 is 16. So, here we'll, in the box it will come 16. Now, let's move on. So, we have a box here and 20 is here. Now, we have to, now we have the denominator and not the numerator. So, let's see. Here our denominator is 4 and here our denominator is 20. So let's see what relation can be here. Yes, 4 5s is 20. So we are going to multiply our numerator that is 3 by 5. So 3 5s is 15. So 15 will come in the box. Now let's move on again. 18 and another box so here we have our numerator and not the denominator we don't have the denominator so we have to find the denominator so here our numerator is 3 and here our numerator is 18 so let's see what can we make here yes 3 6 is 18 so now we are going to multiply denominator which is 4 by 6 to find the denominator that will come here so what it is 4 6 is 24 so here will come 20 
4 okay now let's move on to the last equivalent fraction so here box is here and 28 is here so numerator is missing and denominator is here so let's check denominator is 4 and 28 here so 4 7 y is 28 so that means 3 7 y will be 3 7 y will be 21 because we have multiplied 4 by 7 so we are going to multiply 3 by 7 so that is 21 so this is how we solve these types of questions let's see one more question now friends the next question says that we have 2 upon 3 is equal to a box and upon 6 so let's do this one here only so you can see we have the denominator here and the denominator here also so here our denominator is 3 and here our denominator is 6 so 3 2 is 6 so same we are going to do here so 2 2 is 4 that means 4 will be here in the numerator column now let's see the next equivalent fraction so it is 6 upon box so here we have the numerator and here the numerator is 2 and here the numerator is 6 so 2 3 is 6 same here so 3 3 will be 9 that means in the denominator column will be 9 okay now let's move to the next fraction box upon 12 so here we have the denominator that is 12 and here our denominator is 3 so 3 4 is 12 so 2 4 will be 8 so here we will write 8 in the numerator column now 10 upon another box so let's we have the numerator here here numerator is 2 and here numerator is 10 so 2 5 is 10 so 3 5 will be 15 that means here in the denominator column will come 15 now 12 upon box let's see 2 6 is 12 so 3 6 will be 18 so that means here we will write 18 okay now let's see the next fraction so it is box upon 21 where we have the denominator here denominator is 3 and here denominator is 21 so 3 7 is 21 same way 2 7 will be then 14 so that means here will be 14 okay now let's see the next question so we have 4 upon 5 here okay and we have to find so 8 and upon a box so here we have the numerator that is 8 and we have to find the denominator so let's say 4 2 is 8 so then 5 2 will be 10 so here we will write 10 in the 10 in the denominator column okay now let's see the next fraction box upon 15 so here we have the denominator that is 15 and here our denominator is 5 so 5 3 is 15 same way 4 3 will be 12 so that means here we will here we will write 12 all right now let's see the next fraction 16 upon a box so here we have the numerator that is 16 and here we have the numerator that is 4 so 4 4 i is 16 same way 5 4 i will be 20 so that means here 20 will come in the denominator now box upon 25 so here we have the denominator that is 25 and we have here denominator 5 so 5 5 is 25 same way 4 5 will be 20 so here we are going to write 20 in the numerator column so here it is 20 all right so friends this is much for today 
Hope you like it and if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll meet you in the next video of Unlock Your Learning. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.